just because of the history of this race that adds a little something to it. If you were fortunate enough to finish, then you actually have a sense of accomplishment that's further enhanced because of the history. Just the number of people, the real good riders that have uh, been here and won it. Live from the Inn on the Park in Toronto and Gold Rock Lodge in Northern Ontario, it's your Saturday Sports Day. I think you have to be kind of a tough guy. You don't see many sissies out there, put it that way. Yeah, this is the Canadian National Corduroy Enduro. It's about 100 miles north of Toronto in the Halliburton Highlands. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful country. The Enduro is much like a rally for cars, with one uh, very big exception. It takes place over some of the roughest terrain that anyone could possibly imagine. You had to cross the streams with logs in them. For the most part, you just about had to carry a machine. It was impossible. It's not easy, right? So when you have one of those things, you know that it was well earned. <laughs> I think my 23rd, maybe my 24th. Yeah, consecutive. Wow. So my goal's 50. So if I ride till I'm 70, I can get it. <laughs> One might ask, why struggle through harrowing backwoods terrain, through forests and rivers, and over rocky hills and valleys? Why battle the fatigue and the elements, hunger, thirst, and exhaustion? It's all in pursuit of a hand-carved wooden trophy and the personal satisfaction that accompanies any hard-earned victory. It's all to say, I survived two days in September.